everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor, Episode 9, and we are here on Korriban, as we need to get Kallig's Mask to protect ourselves from Lord Zash, whatever she is planning, and she has two new apprentices. How dare she! So we need to go get his mask for some reason, to protect us. No idea how it's supposed to protect us, but it's gonna... Ooh, I wonder if we get to encounter our old slave master, who used to call a slave every chance he got. How exciting that would be. We need to enter Lord Crucis's stronghold. Yeah, although I had no idea they did strongholds on um, Korriban. I thought it was just Narshadar, Drum and Cass, Coruscant, Yavin 4, and um, Tatooine. Yeah, I was trying to think of what the last one was. You're trying to be Revan then, but you're not. Yeah, so, didn't realise I was Corbin once as well. That's not really. This is what people call a joke. My internet's playing up again today as well. If you watched my uh, Smuggler episode yesterday, you would have noticed my internet played up. Well, it's happening again. Because, exciting. Because I have the best internet ever. Best internet ever. I've also got the best nose ever, because I seem to have a cold again. Great. Uh, this this way, yes. The stronghold is this way, it would appear. I'm getting sick of my internet going to red. I wish it would stop that. Aha, it's the inquisitor phase. Hello? Oh, this is a very long corridor. Reminds me of episode one. Not of my inquisitor, episode one of Star Wars, where everyone is like trapped here because of a light barrier and he, and he watches as Darth Maul kills Qui Gon Jinn. I mean, spoilers, but, you know, if you haven't watched episode one by now, don't. Wait, why does this look familiar? This this place looks incredibly familiar. Oh, this is actually a stronghold. Okay, because I thought this was, like, where we landed before. Okay, wait. Didn't I already enter a phase? Uh... Right. Oh, yeah, you might see it as well. I've got all of these ready for when I am level 22. Um... Enter a so but I already entered a story area, and now I've got to enter another one. Um, I'm so confused right now. I already entered a story. <laughs> well, I <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I already was in a story area, but never mind. Hello, Sith adepts. I hope you can adapt to dying. That was a terrible joke. I, why, why do I even bother? Wait, I can stealth, can't I? I forget about that. Hi. Bye bye. Ooh, he's there. And here, I thought the Sith were above petty burglary. You thought wrong. I wonder what your master would think if she knew you were breaking and entering. Or did she, by chance, send you on this little errand? Should I pretend and say she did? Of course she did. Your mask. Zash wants it. Zash has her own choice. What need could she have of mine? Your master and I hardly see eye to eye, but this isn't her style. Too much risk of getting caught, too little reward. That's all the marks of an apprentice. When Darth Thanaton learns of this, you will be punished. He won't find out. Oh. Who is going to tell him once you're dead? You do talk big, don't you? Go on then. Let's see what you've got. I love how she turns it on as it's still in her bed. Okay. I guess we'll attack these guys first. Fine. I didn't realize I attracted their attention, but hey. Hey, I did, so... Well, they're dead anyway. That was... Pretty easy. But guess what? Heroic moment! Yeah! No, stay in the heroic moment circle. Stay in the heroic mo... Stay in... Okay. Well, it's not working properly, because... Wait! Why did that do it? Oh, well, here we go. Because my terrible, terrible internet right now... Like, terrible internet... Come on, let me just kill him first, and then you can sort of spaz out. Okay. Well, I'd rather this gone f was gone first, before a cutscene occurred, and the internet was fine. Cool. Okay, now it's gone. 
Goodbye, Lord Crucis. And thank you for the artifact. Make sure not to scave the mask now. Use your ship's hollow terminal. Oh, okay, we're done already. Oh, that was quick. Well then, Jawa to Narshada, Jawa to ship. Easy like that. I will say that's the one flaw I do dislike about this game, is that it does actually require an internet connection. And, unfortunately, when some people don't have amazing internet connections, it becomes a bit of a problem. Uh, a massive, massive problem. Um, and there we go. I've crashed. Let me go sort out my internet. Okay, now that I'm back, first of all, I'm going to give myself a minor experience boost because that way I get some more experience from preparations once I complete it, if this is a mission to complete. Apprentice, I know you are very busy, but I must speak with you. I have just had the most amazing dream, and it concerns you. Was it a nightmare? <laughs> I'm unhappy with you. No, always thinking about me. Can't get me out of your head, can you? I just can't dream, get you out I could of see head. the power of the Force coursing through you. Armies of Jedi rose in your path and fell before you. It's the artifact. It must be. The artifact will give you this power. What makes you say that? Only certain individuals, it seems, are properly attuned to the ritual the artifacts describe. I believe the remaining artifacts are on Tatooine and Alderaan. You must hurry and find them. Bit random. The artifacts are the key to fulfilling your destiny. I have no proof, but I believe they're on Tatooine and Alderaan. You know. Ooh, Kalex Countant. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Ah, I did get him. He's level 22. I mean, I needed a helmet anyway, because I don't actually have a helmet uh, for when I put it on me for my armor. So, you know. Uh, which one are we going to first? I believe it's Tatooine we go to first. Uh, yes. Andronicos Ravel. Whew. I wonder if that's a certain companion that we'll be getting. Ha! Huh. Ah, uh, although I just cut it all out. Ah, uh, this cold is really, really bothering me. Ah, uh, seriously. All right, let's wait for it to ping. Pong. I see you've made it to Tatooine. Not the most luxurious destination, but trust me, the artifact is close. You'll need to find the pirate Andronicus Revel. He should be quite familiar with this piece. Revel. I keep thinking it's Ravel. Oh boy, a pirate! I've always wanted to meet a real pirate. Careful. Andronicus Revel's reputation, while never playful, is even less so now. He stole the artifact out of some Sith ruins, but when his crew mutinied, they took it. I sent a cruiser to recover the artifact, but all they found was Andronicus in an escape pod half mad. We I mean, let him stay for mad. a while in Imperial Prison, and then released him. He's been hunting his crew down ever since, and we've been watching. Does this Andronicus know you're using him to get to the artifact? Does it matter? He gets what he wants, revenge, and you and I get what we want, the artifact. True. He's never lingered longer than it takes to kill, but Tatooine is different. It's been weeks. I believe Andronicos has found the leader of the mutiny, and with him, the artifact. Find Andronicos, and you'll find a clear course. Uh... Just show me where the fun is. I don't know precisely. Andronicos must have come through the spaceport at some point. Start with the shipmaster. Good luck, apprentice. And remember, every piece draws you closer to your full potential. Okay. Hello, black screen. Can you disappear, please? Thank you. Okay, we're going down to Tatooine. We can get rid of that because we don't need that right now. The secrets of the Jedi. Ooh. And down to Tatooine we go with the gorgeous cutscene. Sorry, I know I mention this every single time, but come on. How can you not like that? Thing is, what confuses me though is that they made those gorgeous going down to the planet cutscenes for the Stronghold planets to begin with, and then they've done it for every other planet since coming out. But, what confuses me is that the ones with the Strongholds on it, you don't exactly need to see the cutscene to go to your Strongholds. So, why did they sort of make it? 
I, I don't I don't really understand. You don't need to see you don't even see those cutscenes go into your stronghold, so why why do there. So yeah. That's just that's just my two cents. Oh look! It's back! I'm just gonna say this. If you live in the UK, don't get either Talk Talk or BT. I'm with BT and they are crap. Cavan Ape. I would talk to you if it would load. Have you heard of a pirate named Andronicus Ravel? Want the humpa? Pirate? Moody, Rob, nah, humpa, I don't consult humpa, with those types. Bad for business. Tatooine's not much of a place, but it's best to keep your nose clean anyway. Try again. I don't like it when people lie to me. <laughs> alright, alright, so maybe Andronicus Ravel did come through here. But you don't want anything to do with that guy, believe me. I'll be the judge of that. That's hardly your call. Okay, I hear he shows up every now and again at the cantina in Mosilla. But I'm warning you, the guy's crazy. He don't talk to nobody. No, don't drink anything stronger than water. The only reason Reg, the cantina owner, don't kick Andronicus out is because he's scared to death of him. But you didn't hear it from me. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I love it how Zash says Revel and I actually said Revel. So maybe it does depend on who you are. I don't know. I, I mean, I always said Revel. So I'm just gonna go with what my main character says, Revel. Or I may just switch it every now and then because that's what I'm like. Wait, what was that? It's also something glowing on the map. Uh, oh, it's a stronghold thing. Okay. Wait, have they moved it yet? Have they moved it yet? Nope, they have not. No why? No why? No why? Because if I want to go to my stronghold, I want to go to my stronghold. Where is it? Well, any one of these. You cannot travel to a stronghold from this area. Well, what is the point in putting it there? Oh, Reggie. Oh, Kem needs to speak to me as well. We'll speak to you in a moment. But Reggie, hello. I'm looking for a pirate named Andronicus Ravel. Look, even if I knew him, I wouldn't tell you where he is. Customers don't like bartenders who blab. Not that I listen anyway. Look, Sith, this is a peaceful establishment. We don't want any trouble, so buy a drink, enjoy yourself, but don't start nothing. Trouble follows me wherever I go. Then I suggest you get out of here before you drive away all my customers. Bad enough, most of them are rowdy, drunk and space trash. Don't need a Sith stirring things up and poking my his nose around. Her nose around, thank you very much. You won't insult me again. <laughs> alright, alright, you don't want to know where Dragos Ravel is. I'll tell you, just don't ever do that again. It might get my in intestines ripped out in the middle of the night, but I can't stand pain. Wonderful. This Andronicus fellow is sounding better and better. Andronicus keeps a room upstairs. He likes his privacy and he pays me not to let anyone in on his ear. Of course it helps that at the time he caught somebody telling it on him to one of the exchange gang, he blew most of their brains out. Work him at your own risk, but if he's up in his room, it usually means he don't want to be bothered. Why? Why? Why doesn't he want to be bothered? Here he goes, a lady friends! Well, guess what? I'm a lady friend. Oh, Andronicus! Oh, black screen, hello. Andronicus Ravel. I believe you have the artifact I'm looking for. Webb, folks aren't supposed to know I'm here. I'm sorry, Andronicus. It, it was that damn bartender. Oh, you're not a lady Take friend. Take care of it. Nice now, tattoo. Sith, your artifact. I don't have it, and I'm glad. Thing drove my crew insane. They mutinied. I floated ten days in a disabled escape pod and spent thirty more in Imperial lockup on account of that hunk of rock. Well, at least in the Star Wars universe, they're catering for the disabled. I'm only interested in the artifact. And I couldn't care less about it. But maybe we could help each other out. The guy who has your artifact is the guy I'm on tattooing to kill. Silas Wilkes. My old first mate. He started the mutiny, then tossed me into space. Now he's an exchange big shot. He's got your Sith toy. 
And what if I don't want to work with you? I know how to get to Wilkes, and I ain't asking much. Just a clear shot right between the eyes. Now, if you think you can get a better offer elsewhere, be my guest. Just don't start thinking yourself indispensable. I know what I am, Sith. I won't be in your way. I've been chasing Wilkes halfway across the galaxy. Stole my favorite blasters, not to mention my pride. Lucky thing I got a contact inside the exchange. Only I can't exactly just stroll into the exchange base. What is it with companions and losing their weapons? I go through weapons every day in this game. And there's you and bloody Corso in the smuggler story being all like, Oh, my last has got stolen. Andronicus Ravel has his own personal spy network? It ain't quite like that. Contact's name is Casey Ricks, old friend who used to be part of my crew. But she, uh, doesn't exactly know I'm here. She's sure to know where Wilkes is hiding. Tell her you know me, and she'll tell you everything. You must have quite a way with the ladies to produce that kind of reaction. Let's just say that Casey and me go way back. You get that information, you can do what you want with it. But I'd appreciate it if you came back here first. Me and Wilkes are long overdue for a talk. I never liked his voice. Hold on, let me go for that because... Level 22. So I'll take that, which is better than what I've already got. And then I can get all of this into its armors. Love it. Yeah, I always hated Andronicos' uh, voice. You know, because it always sounds like he has something in his throat. Am I the only one that thinks that? Anyway, Cam, hello. My masters, do not done. mock the cruelty of my fate. Lead me to my peace. Crying again. What are you moaning about now, monster? You are right. I should not be moaning. I should be laughing. After our last conversation, I began to wonder what became of my rival and ally, Veshik Urk. This is how I found this. A Jedi record of the stasis chamber they uncovered, like the one you found me in. They say the creature was inside. I thought you hated Veshik Urk. We were rivals, but we were united in our service to our mistress's death, and to the Sith we followed. If I were free, I would hunt those Jedi relentlessly and feast on my revenge. As it is, my new choice is to laugh at my own powerlessness. Ha! You keep laughing, Cam. Keep laughing all the way to the bank. Um, right, give me a second. And, uh... Yeah, alright, shut up, Cam. Give me a second, and uh, we'll see the differences in damage in all my stats in a second. And there's my stats now, so almost doubled. However, the thing I am kind of annoyed at, I need to have a braces and a belt on in order to get like the full maximum for like the amount of stuff I can have. However, stand back up please. However, the problem is you can see the braces and you can see the belt. I kind of didn't want to see them. I want to turn them off, but there is no way you can turn it off uh, in an outfit. So you need to actually have some sort of bracer or belt in the outfit before they disappear. Before you can even unify them. You know, colour unify. I, before, I had to have it out of like a sort of just a complete whitish sort of colour. And once I put them in my outfit, they went whitish gold, whitish red, sorry. So, and I just, I, I need to find a bracer which, you know, matches my dress. I mean, that doesn't. The belt's okay. The belt's not too bad. I kind of wish I could get rid of the belt, though. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's an annoyance that I'll have to just deal with for now. Until I find a better replacement. Right, we're going uh, to get some buffs up. And we're going over there. Hello, Reek. How you doing? Did you have your um, dingling cut off too? Sorry, that was a Game of Thrones reference there. Um, Wait, I'm a stealther. I keep forgetting I'm a stealther. I'm more like, oh, I have to sort of go around them. No, no, I can just walk right through. Yep. Oh, what is that? A little bit of... No! I said I'd walk right through, but then I'll screw it up like that. Oh, that was a lot of loot. Uh, Sith and Christopher Faze. Sweet. Casey! Why is he doing that? To activate. Casey I have no Ricks. idea. Andronicus sent me. He said you know where to find Silas Wilkes. Andronicus? You mean he's out of prison? He doing alright? 
And he's after Wilkes. Figures. Andronicos doesn't really forgive or forget. Hey, you're not planning to harm him, are you? Yeah. Tell me where Wilkes is, or I will kill him. Oh, come on, please. Not really. I'll tell you where to find that son of a hut. In fact, I'll make sure he's there so you can kill him. Wilkes's base is hidden out of Ether's view. Andronicos will know what I mean. Can't you give me something a little clearer? I can't have everyone on Tatooine knowing where the base is. Let me call Wilkes, make sure he stays put. It'd be a shame for you to storm HQ while he's out. Don't do anything you'll regret. Like Warren Wilkes? We both know that'd be suicide. Casey, sweetheart, got something to report? Andronicus hasn't turned up, has he? Oh, sigh. What do I have to do to make you stop worrying about Andronicus? Well, I could think of a few things. Have you reconsidered my offer? That's why I called. Are you free in, say, a couple of hours? We could talk about it, in person. I always have time for you. I'll be right here, sweetheart, whenever you're ready. Ugh, I hate that guy. Andronicos never went for that eyelash batting junk, but Wilkes is there, so hurry up and kill him. You... I mean, you aren't really... No! I've been able to string him along so far without it. <laughs> But I won't shed any tears when he's gone, to say the least. Not one? Not one tear? Just a smidge? Just a smidge? No? 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 Alright! Wow, this took like 15 seconds to get here with uh, quick travelling. That was awesome! Tell Reg I can't have any more slip-ups. Wilkes finds out I'm here, it'll be like Rusan all over again. Y yes, Andronicus. I I whatever you say. Go. Pokemon Go? About time, Sith. This room's feeling a lot like that escape pod. Make me happy. Tell me you found Wilkes. Uh... Casey gave me this data pad. Good girl, Casey. Good girl. She's bailed me out of more than a few misses. Out of Ether's view, huh? Spineless son of a hut is hiding underground. How do you get that from out of Ether's view? Ether's what we called out there, space. Can't see space from underground. True. So space can't see you. Wilkes and I used to hide hot goods out of Ether's view. Figures he'd hide there. There's a system of caves on the other side of the abandoned farm settlement. I wager that's what Casey meant. How do we get there? Looks like she put something else on this data pad. I think I can crack it. Looks like it's an access code. Something we'll need to get into this hidden HQ, probably. Looks like it could come in handy. I'm gonna blast Wilkes for every day I spent floating in that escape pod. And then I'm gonna stomp on his bones. I'm sure a few shots would just well, kill him. Papa, my master, what is this? Would you abandon Ken Vow, servant of the great Tulak Horde, for some weak human? I've had enough of your complaining, monster. I am no monster, I'm Ken Val, and I will not suffer long in silence. The bond between us is strong, but it can be I promise this is only for a short time. I count on you to keep that promise, Master. I will wait on the ship. Little baby. No, oh, he's a baby! Well, there we are. We have Andronicus Ravel as our new companion. Not your time yet. Oh, fair enough. But next time, we'll go and access Wilkes' base. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I need to go and blow my nose because I have a cold right now. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.